Hey Brian. Yeah. I've replaced all my O-rings, but I've still got a couple left over. What's the deal here? Okay, so a couple things to remember. One, remember, our service kits here come pre-assembled for multiple different regulator models, right? So this is not just going to fit this one specific model, it can fit multiple ones. So sometimes you will have a couple of spare parts. This is very prevalent on first stages. It is rare on second stages, but sometimes on a second stage, once again, you can have one parts kit that will fit multiple models. So these spare O-rings are going to most likely fit on those other models, not this one. Now as long as you follow, us, follow our service manual for this one, and you do it step by step, you shouldn't actually miss any of the parts. Make sense? Yeah. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit that little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. I got Mr. Robbie here. Robbie's one of our employees. You actually saw him in the video where he had the emergency ascent that he had to make. But we're actually servicing Robbie's reg. And as a matter of fact, all day long, that's all we've been doing is servicing regulators. But I'm actually letting Robbie help me service his regulator since he's one of our employees. And this way he can learn a little bit more about it. Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you one of the biggest misconceptions that your technician, your regulator technician, probably told you. Or even the manufacturer, if you're a regulator te uh, technician, maybe even the manufacturer that taught your class told you something that's not quite accurate. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, so as Robbie completes his disassembly process here, I want to show you something really neat. All these components here, see, we've got a diaphragm, we've got a bunch of O-rings here, we've got a new seat, we've got a new lock nut, we've got a pin. We've got all these different components that Robbie's fixing to take out of his rig and put these new components in. But here's the lie that sometimes, and it's not necessarily a lie, it's just a little misconception that you were probably told, either as a technician or as a customer, that every single part must be replaced. Now, this does hold true to certain manufacturers, but I want to show you something really neat about Marez. If I take the parts kit here, so this is the part kit for the Marez Rover, which we're working on here. If I flip it over, you will see that this kit fits the Rover, the Prestige, the Carbon, and the CR. So that means this specific parts kit is going to work for all those different models. And each model has a slightly different number of parts that has to be replaced. So in the case that we're working on here, the Rover, we're only going to be replacing the Rover parts. The parts that go on the other, we're not going to. If I move over here to say a first stage kit, and we'll just pick one up here. This one here says it fits the 52X and the 25XR. If I move over here, you'll see that this service kit here, it fits the first stage and the 32, the 22, the 16, the D16, the S40, and I can keep on going. We can find multiple ones. This second stage kit here fits the uh, second stage Abyss, the um, and different models as well. So as you can see, different part kits will work for different regulators. But there's even more to that. Not only do they fit different regulators, they will also fit both DIN and yoke. Here's a great example. This is the first stage for the R2S International, which is yoke and the DIN. So this part kit will work for both DIN and yoke. And if I kind of show you, you'll see there's multiple filters in that parts kit. So you are going to have part kits as your service and regulators that's going to have spare parts. It doesn't mean that you left something out or you forgot something. It just means that you've got a parts kit that will work for many different models and it's okay if there's a couple of spare parts kits. Now, how do we verify that we got all the parts replaced that we need to be replaced? Well, here's what we do. All right, guys, so now on my screen, you will see this is the Marez Lab. This is a 2023 edition here. This is the service manual, volume two. And the service manual actually gives us the information that we need. So if I scroll down, I'm going to look for the Rover second stage. And as I scroll down, we're going to try to find it. There's the Loop, the Epic, the DR, the HR, the XR. And we should see one Rover second stage. If I click on that, this is really neat. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you all this, but the cool thing about this is going to show me the exact part kits that I need, what parts come in that said kit, and what parts I must remove and replace. It's also going to show, and I'll just quickly scroll here, it's also going to show the order that I break it down, the whole nine yards. 
So the really cool thing about this is it allows me to go in and see whether or not I missed a part. As long as I follow the order that's on the screen here, I'm going to be guaranteed that I don't actually miss a part when I'm servicing it. So as you can see, guys, our trained technicians, myself or any other trained technician, they're going to have the proper information to service your regulators. If they're trained by the manufacturer of whatever gear they carry or whatever they sell in the shop, they're going to have the proper parts kits and they're going to understand that certain parts kits for certain manufacturers, there will be parts that are left over. doesn't mean they left something out. It doesn't mean that they skipped something. As long as they follow the manual, they do what they were trained to do, they're going to be able to service your reg. But if there's spare parts, you don't have to worry about that something was left out of your regulator. And you also, as a technician, you don't have to worry that maybe you miss a step as long as you follow your service manuals and you're doing your updates when you're supposed to per the manufacturer as well. Because I really hope this video explains why technicians do what they do and some of the misconceptions. There are certain manufacturers that parts kits, you replace every single part, no exceptions, but that parts kit is only meant for that specific reg. In the case of Marez, a lot of these parts kits are gonna fit different models. They'll also fit DIN and yoke. There's AST models and non-AST models. And so each kit is more than likely going to have a couple of spare parts that you're actually not going to use. So you don't have to freak out if you got a couple of parts left over. Just follow the manual, do what you are trained to do, and you should be good to go. Because I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more technical related videos on servicing and things like that, drop me a comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll try to get a video made. But until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.